Thanks, guys. You found me here. We're at the Odeon Liverpool one. Welcome, mugwumps. Welcome, muggles. That's what they call you, isn't it? Sorry, we call them muggles. Here we go with the case full of monsters, huh? News travels first. Certainly with the uh, the prequel, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them of Harry Potter, or as I once heard a very annoying child say at an American airport, Harry Potter! When she saw lots of piles of Hogwarts books, we've been treated here to the prequel of the story. It's set in 1920s New York, and um, it's just a fantastic story. You do, you are wondering when Eddie Redmayne comes bumbling in, doing a bit of a mix of his impression of Norman Wisdom and Stephen Hawking, but it is a very rare visual treat of very cute and beguiling monsters that you're pulled into that world. So the cynic in you, certainly the cynic in me, might think that it's just a reboot of the franchise for 20-something Harry Potter fans who've grown up and are still hungering for the film, but there's something in there for everyone, and you really have to watch out for so many Hollywood legends pop up in this film. Colin Farrell turns, puts in a really nice performance as the baddie Mr. Graves. John Voight of Midnight Cowboy fan, uh, sorry, Midnight Cowboy fame has a, a role to play. And at one point near the end of the film, no spoilers, and the most amazing Hollywood legend of the moment doing his own David Bowie impression pops up and leaves you salivating for the next film. So here we go, you have to go and see it. Uh, also, for Liverpool cinema goers, it's a real treat trying to keep your eyes peeled for where our city's gonna feature on the, on the film, because St. George's Hall, and also the Cunard building were used as, as uh, buildings in the sets. So go and see it, it's a really great movie. This is related to Grindelwald's attacks in Europe. This could mean war. We got a plan, right guys? They need our help. Was that everything that came out of the case? I won't let another one die. I refuse to bow down any longer. Time is running out, Mr. Commander. Also worth a watch is Arrival. Another nondescript title for a film, Arrivals, Departures, Arrivals, but it's an epic sci-fi tale about aliens by director Denis Villeneuve. And uh, everybody's favorite redhead, Amy Adams, plays a linguistics expert that's called to, to speak to alien race on behalf of us humans here. And it's a really fascinating story. It leaves you thinking about what would happen and why can't we all get along? And also, probably, what would happen if, this, if the aliens came down and Donald Trump was president? 